little Eva here is only seven days old. This is what I did, and this is what I've learned on the way. Now, I'm not a vet, but my vet was the first place I went for advice. One of the good things now is she was abandoned by her mum day one. She never sucked on her mum's teeth, nothing like that. She was just left in the paddock. And you hear that little noise? She's telling me she's hungry. So, in the first two days, um, you've got to get colostrum into them, which builds up their immunity um, uh, to, to diseases, right? They would normally get that from their mother. All babies are the same. So in my case, I couldn't get it quick enough. Um, COVID-19 is around when I made this video. Couldn't get it online quick enough for those first couple of days. My vet had some camel plasma left over. So we fed her camel plasma in the milk that we gave her. So that got her through the first two days. The other thing I did in the first two days, I put a bit of glucose, just a little bit of glucose, to give her that energy to suck because although she was quite she was quite small. And I used, and there are a number of products around, but the vet had this one, Di, Divectart, which is for all sorts of orphans. Uh, and you can use it on native animals uh, here in Australia, you know, um, koalas, and you can use it for um, all sorts of animals, but it does everything. So it's probably a good thing, which I'll do from now on, is always have some of this around. So, Back to the baby uh, alpacas. Now you can use any sort of bottle on a baby bottle and probably something you can measure is good. So we're on day six now and she's on about a litre a day and I'm giving that in to, to her in about five different feeds across the day. I found this is the better sort of teat there are other sorts. Uh, this one, I think, um, was for sheep and goats. It's, you know, yay long, soft. I had to cut the end off it, so when you turn it up, the milk comes out. Um, the, they're not really a strong sucker in those first few days, and even at day seven, she's still not strong, right? Um, now, the important thing that I learned about baby alpacas, they like to stick their heads under things. Because that's, you know, if you think about them standing up in the paddock, they stick their heads under their mum's leg to get the milk. So I used to cuddle her and keep her on my lap to feed her. Um, and she'd get all sort of crunched up. What I found is the best way is you've got to try and keep them upright and keep their neck up straight to actually feed them. Eva, <laughs> here's little Eva. Uh, what, I, what I do is I put her front legs over my leg like this, and I trap her in with my back leg like that. That keeps her up straight. Hear that little sound that she's making now? It's a little sort of sound, right? That says she's hungry. Then, hand behind the head to keep her up straight in the mouth and then I just hold her I just hold her up like that um, and it's not easy they don't take the teeth like a calf or a goat or a lamb it's a bit of a struggle but as long as I hold her head like this keep her up straight and her neck up straight that's a bit of a struggle you end up with milk all over you <laughs> and some poo all over you out the other end too but she goes pretty good now. Remember this is uh, day six, day seven, I think it is now. And she's only just now starting to feed easily like this. So over the leg, leg trap behind. I've got my elbow holding her in. I've got a hand behind the head. And I've actually got this finger here just keeps the teat in her mouth, although she has got much better of it. They drink fairly slowly. Um, 
she won't this time but they normally you know they start to sort of shake a bit you can let them have a little walk around and then get them back again um, so they kind of you know they're not all in one feeders necessarily but anyway I'll put my contact details below if you uh, need any help or any advice please contact me but I reckon um, if you're gonna breed alpacas just you know pets like me is have a good vet that's what I learned is have a good vet I'd like to thank my vet Mulaney vet who donated the camel plasma for the first couple of days which was over $400 uh, which has kept little Eva alive by the way you can follow Eva on Instagram Eva alpaca it is on Instagram all right cheers now